Hello, my name is Howard Butler. I'm the Senior Director of Systems Engineering and Field Support for Conducive Technologies. Today we're going to talk about space reclamation with DiskKeeper and how it works. But before we get into thin provisioning and space reclamation and so forth, I think it's important for you to understand a little bit about the concept of thin provisioning. You might find that a great analogy is, is like how the airline industry runs their business. They oversell or overcommit the number of seats they have on an airplane because they know not everybody's going to show up. So as a result, they can maximize their amount of, of seats, or in the case of disk storage space, maximize the amount of use of storage. Uh, with a thin provision environment, though, there are some risks or some dangers that one has to take into consideration. Let's say you start out with a freshly formatted volume. And then as you begin to add files, that volume starts to grow. Okay, But at some point in time, aren't you going to delete some files? Well, of course. But the problem is, when you delete those files, it does not shrink or change the size of the amount of space that's been allocated for this thin provision environment. You can only reclaim that space by writing zeros back to what Windows considers to be free space, which are your recently deleted files. By doing that, DiskKeeper then allows you to shrink the overall size of the storage or thin provision environment. So this is how the free space reclamation ties in with DiskKeeper, since we are improving not only the performance and efficiency, we're also allowing you to maximize the amount of storage space that you physically have. And that's one of the great values of DiskKeeper in terms of storage thin provisioning. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure talking to you. We'll see you next time.